Hey guys, welcome to The Daily Diva. I'm Brent, and I got a question for you. Does your public life match your private life? In Matthew 6, Jesus is teaching his disciples about prayer and fasting. And in this passage, beginning at verse 5, Jesus calls out the religious leaders at that time who were praying publicly. Now here's the thing. They weren't praying publicly because they had a real concern for people. Furthermore, I need you to know that there's nothing wrong with praying publicly. As a spiritual leader, I have to pray publicly for people all of the time. But the real question is, is what's the motive? You see, these guys were praying publicly because they wanted to be seen. They wanted to be applauded as spiritual leaders. And look at what Jesus says about them in verse number five. He says this, When you pray, don't be like the hypocrites who love to pray publicly on street corners and in the synagogues where everyone can see them. I tell you the truth. That is all the reward they will ever get. You see, Jesus calls these guys hypocrites. Now, while the text doesn't explicitly say it, it's safe to assume that these guys had the appearance of a strong spiritual life publicly, but a weak one privately. Uh, Jesus goes on to say that those guys are thinking that they're going to get a reward in heaven, but that's all the reward they will ever receive. Now, watch what Jesus goes on to say in verse number six. He says, but when you pray, go away by yourself Shut the door behind you and pray to your father in private. Then your father who sees everything will reward you. Uh, Jesus is telling his disciples that when you pray, don't be like those other guys who pray publicly to be seen. Seek me privately with the right motives and the right heart. Because at the end of the day, I still see everything. I see what you do publicly and I see what you do privately. And if your private fervor for me doesn't match your public fervor for me, then all your public fervor is mere vanity. Uh, many of us watch these daily devos serve in ministry in some capacity, uh, but I wanna encourage us to check our hearts. You see, if we're not careful, we can easily become like the hypocrites that Jesus is talking about in this text. Uh, we can pray more publicly than we do privately. Uh, we can read the Bible more publicly than we do privately. We can serve the church well publicly, but fail to serve our families well privately. Uh, my encouragement to you and I as we go about our day to day, make sure that our public life matches our private life.